finally we're seeing a grizzly bear in the water eating salmon. So full grown grizzly bears can eat 100 pounds of salmon per day or even more because they have to build up their fat reserves in preparation for their winter hibernation. And this grizzly bear is a mother and she has two cubs who are hidden in the tall grass behind her. What was surprising and even funny was that one of the cubs would continually steal food from the other cub and even from its own mother. Wildlife photography is not easy. Learning the skills to do it right takes time and personal investment, and you typically only get one really good photo opportunity from an entire multi-day trip. I have been planning this trip for months and the stakes are high. It took 13 hours of driving to get here, mostly on backcountry dirt roads, which required a week off of work. I've been training and practicing my photography skills for years, but I'm in a moving boat, hand holding the camera. I've been visualizing the perfect shot of a full-grown bear facing the camera and running. I want a photo that is tack sharp, correctly exposed and with a powerful composition. Do I have what it takes to get the shot I want when and if the opportunity presents itself? And suddenly, I had my opportunity. It was my moment of truth. And within two seconds, the opportunity was gone. The window closed, but I got the shots. I was very happy with the shots that I got, but I think this one here is my favorite from this trip. This mama bear looks incredibly powerful, wild, and majestic, and she is all of those things. So it was time to leave the river, and we drove for an hour and reached Eagle Bear Lodge, where there is the most incredible looking lake that appears as if it is in the tropics. It looks like the Maldives, but even better, Eagle Bear Lodge has a dog named Trooper, and Trooper is awesome. Come on, Trooper. Trooper, come here. Hi, Trooper. Hi. Did you miss us? Once we were at the lodge, I had some time to edit some photos, and here are my top three. Leave a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite. So here's number one, number two, and number three. I love landscape and wildlife photography because it gives me adventure, discovery, creativity, and freedom. These are some of the things that make me come alive.